Hello guys, welcome to Rybrook Land Rover in Huddersfield. Today we've got an Alfa Romeo Mito Veloce T. It's a three door hatchback. 1.4 litre petrol in grey. It's had two previous owners. It's got MOT until the 30th of the 6th, 2016. Now a closer inspection of the car. If we look in the front here, there's a slight little mark there. No major stone chips anywhere. If we look across on the grill there, you can see it's in good nick. No major damage whatsoever. Coming along down the passenger side. If we look down again, it's pretty clean. No major scratches, but there is a slight dink there. I'm not sure if you can see. Moving along again down the come to the rear passenger side arch. There is a slight little dink there also. Not sure if you can see that. Coming along to the rear. Again, it's pretty clean if we have a close-up. There's another little slight dink there. Apart from that, there's no scratches or scuff markings at all. You can see, coming along to the driver's side, here we have the rear arch. Now, there is some damage there. If you can see, some damage to the bodywork. Also, some slight scratch there. Coming along, there is also some slight scratches there. Moving along to the front of the car. That seems to be the, the bodywork. Now let's take a look at the alloys. Here we have the, pass the driver's side rear alloy. As you can see, there is some damage there to the alloy. You can see. Also, if you look at the tread, I'm not sure if you can notice, but there is a good amount of tread on the tyre there. Here we have the rear passenger side alloy again there is some damage there's some scuff into that outside of the rims of the alloy and also in the middle there but again there's an excellent amount of tread on the tires there here we have the front passenger side alloy if we have a closer scan at that see it's a bit better but there is some scuffing along the edges there and also some damage to the middle there here we have the driver side front alloy. Again, there is, does seem to be some damage alongside there to the outer edges of the rim. Having now turned the front wheels, let's take a closer look at the tyres. As you can see, there's an excellent amount of tread there on all sides of the tyre. Here we have the passenger front tyre. Again, excellent amount of tread on the tyres there and on all other sides. Having now got the boat open, let's take a quick look inside. As you can see, no damage whatsoever, it's pretty clean. No rips or scuffs anywhere. If you look down here, you see you've got your tyre pressure gauge and your wheel locking nuts and your toy and iron other accessories there. Now we're at the back, well, let's have a quick look down the sides. As you can see, it's nice and straight down the driver's side. Here we the passenger side, again, nice and straight. Now let's take a quick look inside. You see, because it's a hatchback, move the seat there. As you can see, we've got the Alfa Romero cloth upholstery seats there. No signs of wear and tear at all. Look at the front again. No signs of wear and tear on the seats there. No rips or anything. It's your Alfa Romeo badge. It's a good condition. Have a quick scan of the dashboard there. You can see there's no scratches or anything at all of that nature. Now the car does come with all the re relevant manuals and documents. Got your two sets of keys there, your full service franchise history, service book, your V5 with your two previous owners. Now let's start her up. As you can see, the only major warning light is the pet low warning for fuel. We have a closer look at the central console unit there. You can see you got your six-speed manual gearbox. And also your normal or dynamic or all-weather options there. You've got your USB port. And if we look, quick scan of the, the steering wheel there. And if we can see that the mileage is on 57,377. So there you have it. The Alfa Romeo.